Hi and welcome back to Bill Sickler Room. I'm a bit late doing the video blog for January. What it was, I actually got invited up to Preston District Aquarius Society to give a talk last week. So I spent all last weekend uh, writing that. Um, more on that in the next video. But let's get on and see what's been happening in the tanks this month. So I thought I'd start with this tank there this month. Um, so this is the one with all the grow out in. I um, still haven't caught that carp in to put into the other tank. Uh, I'll do that later on in the week. Yeah, so lots of species in here. Uh, the normal colour fenestratum, so they're getting quite big now. So they're up to two and a half, three inches. Yeah, the Neotropolis. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of pairs uh, paired off in here already. Um, yeah, it looks like there's some spawning activity there, uh, looking at the colour of that one. Yeah, some cutter eye, uh, a minor eye, she's, uh, she's all coloured up. So I think she's looking to start spawning. So all in all, it's uh, it's getting on quite well, this tank. Right, so the next one to have a look at, this is the one with the Nicaragua Gwent in. Yeah, so hopefully they'll uh, they'll start spawning again soon. <laughs> yeah, so the Cutter Eye, the Rainbow Cichlids, and the Neotropolis. So they've spawned again this month, so I'll put a little bit of footage in uh, when they add all the fry. So the next one to have a look at, this is the uh, the grow out of the, the pink uh, fenestratum. So I took a lot of these into Predator Aquatics uh, last week. So if anybody's interested in these, if you get in touch with Rick at Predator Aquatics, uh, I did take quite a few in. So yeah, there's not much in this tank now. <laughs> so this is the other grow out tank. Uh, so. This has got all the stuff in that I'm going to be taking to the, to the auction in March. So I'll put the poster up at the end just in case anyone's interested. But it's the first Sunday in March at Northwest Sickler Group in Rainford near St. Helens. Yeah, so it's the normal coloration fenestrosis in this tank. Yeah, so that one's, uh, that one's gone quite dark. There's a couple of them actually gone quite dark. So these are about two inches. The cutter right there looking really colourful. And so the next tank's the one with the uh, Thomas Sickler, the Strachey and the rainbows. And so th that one's got a real yellow colour. Oh, the, the, the Jim of Vegas as well in this tank. Congo Tetras. Yeah, so a couple of them have gone uh, nice and yellow, so yeah, no doubt there'll be some spawning activity off them in the next uh, few days. Yeah, so no problems with the Asfraki anymore. Um, the, like the three that I've got left seem to be doing really well. Cut her eye fry from here <laughs> from when they spawned in here earlier on in the year. Yeah, so they are turning into really nice fish, these. I'm sorry about the glare on this tank. <laughs> the bow caught eye, uh, the female Nanolatus. So she actually spawned, she paired up with the male uh, Otafluva, so I'll put some footage in to show you. Um, I didn't take any of the fry out because uh, they're the hybrids at the end of the day, so I've got no interest in raising them. But yeah, she's still got uh, the breeding coloration on, so there, there might be one or two fry still knocking around. Uh, 
um, the Sajaka, they actually uh, spawned about two weeks ago, so we've got a little bit of footage on those. Salvini and the tap of those redheads. Yeah, the chocolate cichlids, uh, so they've spawned again, so I've got a little bit of footage on those I'll put in. Need to, it needs cleaning up this tank, but because they've got fry in there, <laughs> I don't really want to go uh, near it with the siphon. Yeah, so the other fish that's in here, if you can see it, um, it's the female uh, Madagascan Polynai. So I've took her out of the other tank because um, she was staying at the back all the time, so I thought I'll leave her in here for a month and then reintroduce her uh, and and see if we can get some activity. Yeah, yeah, do have a pair of chocolates down that side, the Geophagus. Yeah, so this is Steph's grow out tank, uh, the Alma Karna Reuben Reds, so they're all doing really well. Yeah, so they, they won't be ready for the March auction, but they, they will be for um, for the one later in the year, in July. Yeah, so there's quite a few in there. You know, she's got a group of plecos as well in there. Here's the male pollinate. It's still as aggressive as ever. <laughs> and so it doesn't seem to be missing his girlfriend too much. Yeah, so we take these about seven inches now. Paracromus fredistarli, formerly the Lewiselli. So yeah, I've still got seven of those. Uh, still waiting for them to pair up. <laughs> and the uh, and the Cuban cichlid. Yeah, so they've got really nice patterns on them, these now. You know, a bit of jaw locking. So that's got to be a good sign. <laughs> So the, what I might have to do with these is actually take a couple out uh, and give them a bit more room and see whether see whether they start pairing up then. Because there, there is seven of them in here. Yeah, so they're about five inches now.
lots of jaw locking going on. And the cube and the smallest fish in the tank in these books, I think. <laughs> last tank to have a look at this is one with the car pin says and the uh, the, and the bee knife so the bee knife seems to be doing quite well so I've still got four of them <laughs> which is a good sign and the car pin says the growth rates are quite interesting with these because they are all the same same age they all come out the same batch they were about what, half an inch in size when I got them. So yeah, the, some of them are the, what, about three or four inches. And then you got some of the other ones that are only about two and a half inches. <laughs> the tube. So hopefully it won't be too long until they start pairing off as well. And then the Ferrichtes Passionis. So I'm pretty sure that it is a pair. Based on the size difference really. And yet sometimes uh, the, the females do get the spot on the dorsal. And on the Robert Stone eye. He still thinks he's a Ferrichtes. <laughs> Yeah, so that's about it, um, and I'll put another video up uh, in the week, uh, so that one will be on the, the, the Preston Club Night, uh, so you can see what goes on in, in the Club Night. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video, which is going to be on the Preston's uh, Club Night. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught